Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, this is Making Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Of course, Avery, Avery, Avery had to join us today. <laughs> yeah, she had to join us. Okay, uh, today's video, you guys, I got a little sidetracked there. Today's video is all of my January empties. Um, I'm trying to get this up a little bit earlier in February than I normally do. It's just been super crazy and busy lately. So I'm just going to hop right into this. Um, I don't know if I should start. I have a smaller bag in here and then a ton of other stuff. I think I'm going to just start with the smaller. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start with, um, maybe I'll actually start with these bigger ones here. It might be a little bit easier for me. Um, let's see here. First thing I did get through y'all, if you saw my Goose Creek candle haul, I actually already burnt this. I, I know I said I was going to wait until spring. But I couldn't wait. Now, what I will say about this particular candle, which was peanut butter crisps, the first two burns on this were amazing. The throw was great. It was so super good. I loved it. However, the burns after that, it seemed like the candles were not burnt, like there was too much wax in there. So I tried to empty a little bit of the wax. But after that, it never quite threw the same. So I was a little, I was a little disappointed with this one. So would I buy this again? No. I'm sad to say it, but no. But I got to be honest with y'all. I got to. All right. Next thing, I did burn through Spice Cardamom from Bath & Body Works. Scent notes are cinnamon spice cardamom, dark cedarwood, and a pinch of nutmeg. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Would I buy this one again? Oh, hell yes. Okay, next candle I did burn through was Fireside by Bath & Body Works. Scent notes are smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers. <sighs> Would absolutely buy this again. It's always a powerhouse, and I love it. I did also get through smoked vanilla. Scent notes are creamy vanilla, smoked sandalwood, and rich bourbon. Yeah, I would definitely buy this. In fact, I have a couple backups. Spiced vanilla cupcake is the next one I have here. This one was really, really good, actually, you guys. This is from a couple years ago. Um, let's see. There's a little... Oh, it was 2021. It was made. Sentinels are spiced vanilla frosting, fluffy angel food cupcake, and cinnamon sugar. Yeah, this one was good. I really liked it, and I would absolutely buy it again, but I don't know if we'll ever see it again, so... Because we all know how uh, Bath & Body Works plays us like that. They release something good, and then we don't see it again ever, or it's like five or six years later. Anyway, next one is Hinoki Wood and Lavender. This is that one I found at the outlet that was like six bucks. I had someone comment and said, oh my God, I would have snagged all of those. And girl, you're right, you're right. I should have snagged like at least two or three of these babies because this was good. It reminded me of like a high-end spa and it was awesome. Scent notes are Calming Hinoki Wood, Fresh Lavender, and a Hint of Coconut. Yeah, it was banger. I would absolutely buy this one again. Next up, we have Salted Caramel Eggnog. This is an older one, too. This is from 2021. Scent notes are Gooey Caramel, Fresh Sea Salt, and Dolce de Leche with Sweet Whipped Cream. This one was good. It wasn't as strong as I would have liked it to have been, but it was still good nonetheless. Would I repurchase? Yes. Winter White Woods. This is an older packaging, too. It's from 2000. It's one of my favorite winter candles, winter white woods. And anytime I have a couple of these in my basement, my daughter always tries to like snag them. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> no, those are mine. I really, really like this one. Scent notes are, uh, it's made with cedarwood essential oil, it says, and has notes of cashmere musk and vanilla bean. Yeah, this one's just so good. I really do like this one. And I would absolutely purchase this again. And again, that's winter white woods. Okay. Single wicks. <laughs> Crushed candy cane, y'all. You guys saw I got like three or four of these from SAS, and they're so worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one's banger. Scent notes, crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. This is a banger for a single wick. Like, holy shnikes. Good. I would absolutely repurchase. Sugar plum fairy. Scent notes are sweet sugar plum, candy cranberries, sugared orange. Now, again, I've mentioned I burn all these single wicks in my bathroom. I don't burn them anywhere else except my bathroom. This one was okay. Would I? It smelled nice, but would I repurchase it? No, because I didn't. It, it didn't throw as heavy as I would have liked. 
Let's see, next up we have Blush Poinsettia. Scent notes are Rose Petals, Green Ivy, and Sweet Marshmallow. It was pretty in theory, but it did not perform well at all. And would I repurchase? No. Snowflakes and Cashmere. Scent notes, Vanilla Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, Frosted Clementine. This smells pretty, but it did not perform that well in the bathroom. Like, you had to kind of be hovering over it to really get any scent. So would I necessarily repurchase it in this packaging? No. Peppermint Hot Chocolate. This is that other one that I picked up another three or four in from SAS. Love this one. <sighs> Throws like a beast. I can smell it all the way down my hallway. Scent notes are Sweet Peppermint, Silky Milk Chocolate, topped with Fluffy Marshmallow. <sighs> Would I repurchase? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Next, we have Sandalwood Vanilla. I did pick this up during SAS as well. Scent notes are not on this one because it's like a tester candle, I guess, like for their um, wallflowers and they were selling them. Now, this smelled super, super good to me on cold and I was so excited because if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know I love sandalwood. This candle fell very short. It did not perform well and it did not get the scent that I was hoping I was going to get from it. So would I repurchase? No. Twas the night before Christmas. Oh, I love this one. Scent notes are Santa's fresh baked cookies, a warm mug of milk, and dashes of cinnamon and nutmeg. Yeah, I like this one. I do like this. It wasn't a super powerhouse, but it threw enough in my bathroom that you definitely noticed it when you walked into the bathroom. And it, it, if I can at least notice it as soon as I walk in there, it's winning. Because it's a, you know, it's a bathroom. It's not a huge room. It's not, I don't expect it to throw like a three wick. But would I repurchase this one? I'm not sure. Maybe if I got it like 75% off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, let me get the candles put away and then we will move on to the other stuff. Okay, here's all the other stuff that I got through. First up is Mary Cookie and the Hand Soap. Set notes are Buttery Shortbread, Vanilla Bourbon Icing, and Spun Sugar. This smelled really good, like when you open it and smell it, but on my hands, it kind of smelled weird. Would I repurchase this one? Probably not. I did get through Warm and Welcome. Y'all, I think this is my favorite, favorite candle wax melt from Goose Creek. You guys, I freaking love this. Oh, I just, yes, I did. I got, I got a little, a little crumple piece down my, down my bra. A little. <laughs> would I repurchase this a thousand times yes in fact I'm going to keep the packaging so I don't forget which one this is because it just smells amazing amazing and the scent lasted like so long it kind of smells like chai latte tea mixed with cashmere and maybe a tiny tiny bit of wood smoke like I'm talking so tiny you can barely detect it this one is banger, 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 banger. And again, that's warm and welcome, warm and welcome. It's got a little black kitty on him, see him? He's so cute. Anyway, anyway. I also did get through Tree Hut's candy cane in the body scrub. This was perfect for, I started using it in December, but I didn't get done with it until January. Oh, that sucker's so strong. Would I repurchase this? Yes, because this was really good. And I love Tree Hut scrubs, they are banger. All right, I did also get through Dream Bright in the mini. This one was good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is good. I do have the full size one and I love it. What I repurchase, if I ever ran out of it, at this point I'm gonna say yes, but who knows, that could change over time. You never know, your sniffer changes over time. But for the time being, I loved it. I also did get through the travel size and Merry Cookie, which we all know is Christmas cookies and I freaking love this. I think I've said this before, it is easily one of my top three scents of all time from Bath & Body Works. I love it, love it, love it. I don't think I'd ever get tired of it. And I've got backups in my stockpile in the basement of the original packaging. Because the OG to me smelled better than any that they've come out with since. But this was good, it was good and I love it. I did get through the room spray in winter. I do like this one for winter. 
It just smells very Christmassy and it's got like this citrus and spice and clove in it. And I do like it. I do like it. Would I repurchase? Yes. I also did get through a mix bar gel perfume pen. Like you would go like this on the top and it would come out and then you would brush it on yourself. And the, this is in the scent vanilla bourbon. There's like nothing left of this. I've had this for quite a while and I just wasn't really using it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to use up these products, damn it. So I took it with me and threw it in my car and I was constantly putting it on anytime I would get in the car and I got through it. So yes, would I repurchase this? Probably no. I like the scent and in theory it's good, but the scent did not radiate in this gel form and I couldn't really smell it unless I had my hand like literally up on my face. So would I repurchase? No. I did get through a room spray and gingerbread marshmallow. I love this one. Ooh, it's banger, y'all. Oh, it smells like gingerbread cookies. So yeah, would I repurchase? Yes. I did get through one of my OG packages of Christmas cookies in the shower gel. Christmas cookies, for those of you who don't know, is Christmas cookie dough or creamy cookie dough, almond, biscotti, and caramel wood. Again, this is the OG packaging. Oh, my God. I really wish they would have made that land of sweets in the creamy body washes because the Christmas cookies, the Santa's blueberry shortbread, and the iced, what was it, vanilla bright lemon snowdrops, they were all banger. Like, that whole... That Land of Sweets collection was amazing. And I can't believe they never brought back those other two. Like, I'm really shocked. Would I repurchase this? A thousand times, yes. I did get through another hand cream and hot cocoa and cream. I love this. They haven't brought out cocoa and cream in a while. So I do kind of miss it. But I love this packaging. I had a couple of them. So I went through one and I just got through the other one. So yes, would I repurchase? Yeah, I probably would pick up hot cocoa and cream again if they brought it out. It's a good one. I did get through a thing of makeup wipes. They're just the generic ones from Dollar General. They're night soothing with, um, I think, lavender or something. But I go through makeup wipes all the time. I mean, it is what it is. You know, what I repurchase, of course, I have to. You just have to. I did get through, oh, I did get through a massive thing of mouthwash and iceberg blue. I, I don't know why, but I love the smell of mouthwash. However, I don't want to smell like it. Good. Yeah, I do like this. And of course, what I repurchase, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mouthwash is what makes your mouth just feel extra, extra clean and tingly and clean and fresh. And yes, I love me some mouthwash. I did get through the hand soap and elderflower gin fizz. Y'all, this was banging. Scent notes are bubbly prosecco, elderflower, elderflower blooms, and sparkling blackberries. And this was banging. It, smelling it on cold, it was not, it was just like, okay. But when you used it, it was fabulous. It was so good. Yeah, would I repurchase this a thousand times? Yes, but unfortunately, I don't have any more of these in my collection. So if I do see this again, I will be picking one up. I did get through another wax melt from Goose Creek and Cliffside Sea Spray. I don't remember... It was okay. It was just kind of like your average clean scent, um, like spring water, springs, you know, that kind of stuff. Would I repurchase? Probably not. It's probably like a one and done. You guys, I actually got through some perfume samples this month. They're like some perfumes, but they're smaller ones. I did get through a Kraken Me Up Peppermint Sugar Cookie Hand Sanitizer. And y'all, I got compliments galore on this, like a lot. I'm glad I still think I have maybe one, no, I don't have the hand sanitizer like this, but I do have the big one, the spray, and the peppermint sugar cookie. So I'm so glad I have this for next winter if they, in case they don't bring it back. And it's a spray one, and I love that it looks like Santa. <laughs> I love it. I'm such a weirdo. I'm a sucker for packaging, but that's not always the reason I'll buy something. It's got to be good with that packaging. So, but I'm glad I still have this one because y'all, I was getting mad compliments on that. Like mad compliments. All right. Next thing I did get through was another hand soap and fresh sparkling snow. Scent notes are icy melon, holiday pear, and fall falling snow. Um, it was okay. Uh, it, 
it would, like I said, it was okay. It was very fresh and crisp for winter. Would I repurchase? Probably not. I did get through a travel size in Batiste. We all know I'm a shampoo, dry shampoo hoe. I love them. This is in the tropical scent, which is actually pretty good. I love Batiste. It's probably my favorite dry shampoo with the exception of Sol Janeiro sham dry shampoo, but there's a so expensive. It's like $30 for a bottle like this size. Now, granted, I, I, it does the dang thing. And not only that, but it super scents your hair. The, the Sol Janeiro one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like all day long, you'd be smelling like bum bum cream. Anytime the hair, the wind blows or anything through your hair, you smell it. So is it worth that $30 price point? Uh, Hell yes. And the next time I put in a Sol Janeiro order, I will be getting another bottle. So, but yes, anyway, I did get through this little one in Tropical from Batiste and I do like it. Would I repurchase? Hell yes, I do. I love Batiste. Oh my goodness. We got so many, so many more items in here. I didn't realize I got through so much in January. Like, damn, this is already going on in like 17 and a half minutes. Next one I got through was a wax melt and marshmallows. It smelled really, really good in the packaging, but when I burnt it, I would have to burn like three cubes to get a good scent projection. And that was just in my kitchen. I burned tarts primarily in my kitchen and I could hardly smell this, which, so would I repurchase this one? No. I did also get through a toasted hot toddy in the wax melt. This one was good and it projected well. So would I repurchase toasted hot toddy? Hell yes, I, hell yes, I would. I also did get through tree cutting. I started this like literally, I burnt the first one of these on Christmas Eve in the kitchen. And then I made my way through them in like the beginning of January. But this one's good. It's like pine tree mixed with a teeny bit of spearmint and some spices. And it's so good. And I really, really did like it. Tree cutting was super cute. I love the packaging on this. It was just really cute. Would I buy it again? Yeah but only at Christmas. That's the only time I'm gonna buy the, that kind of stuff. Let me get the rest of the stuff out of this bag. Next thing I got through was a little tester of bad bitch from Juliana's Perfumes. I do like this one. I cannot remember what this one is supposed to be. I think it might be, no, it's not Baccarat. Um, I'm not really sure what this one was. I can't remember, but I did get through it because a lot of times they will send you this little tester behind the big bottle. I don't have a big bottle sitting here, but I got a bunch of big bottles. There's some sitting here and then I have more up here, but they'll send you in the, the Juliana's case. They'll send the big bottle and directly behind the big bottle is this little one. And then they'll also send you two of a decent size samples that are like this big of other scents that you can pre-select. So they give you this one though, so that you can try out the big, you know, the scent that's in the big bottle without using the big bottle. So then if you didn't like it, you can send back and get a full refund on that big bottle. If you use that big bottle, they ain't refunding you, baby. But this one, bad bitch, would I get, would I use this one again? I don't think I have this in a full size. I think this is one I sent back. I mean, it smells okay, but it's not something I would gravitate to. Yeah, so would I repurchase that? No. I did get through a uh, memoir. This is a Scentbird one. I love Scentbird. I have a couple of videos out about Scentbird. Um, this one is called Wish You Were Here, which is, this one was a very heavy patchouli. I was not thrilled with it, but I did end up using it to just get it out of my collection. And I paired it with this patchouli, um, where is it? I think it's over here. It's aromatherapy from Bath and Body Works patchouli which I'm not a huge fan of in that scent, but I just wanted to get rid of it. So yes, I did get through it. Would I buy it again? <laughs> no, no, not a fan. I did get through a travel size in Vanilla Bean No Smell. Um, was this okay? Um, yeah, if you just wanted some moisturizing and super, super light, like hardly their scent. And I did layer this, ended up laying it with some other stuff because... I kind of had to. I literally just bought it to see how this year's formulation would be or this past Christmas season, the formulation would be. Unfortunately, it's still not what it should be from years ago. And would I repurchase this at this point? No. I did also get through a mini in Warm and Cozy from Pink. Scent notes are soft vanilla, toasted coconut, and passion fruit. 
Would I repurchase this? Oh, uh, yeah, this was good. I like this one a lot. Warm and cozy for the win. I also did get through another mini in Kissed by an Angel, which is Juliana's version of Angel Share. Would I repurchase this? Hell yeah, because I actually have the big bottle. And it's good. Oh, it's so good. I love this one. I do love it. I do. I also did get through another mini that's called, that's Juliana's Head Over Heels, which is their version of Rolling in Love by Killian. <laughs> Would I repurchase this though? Hell no. Um, I did send the big bottle back. And in fact, I did a review on this on here. If you go back to my videos and look up Juliana's, just like, just, just do a search for Juliana's. And it was, it smelled very plasticky and it smelled weird. It did not smell like Rolling in Love. Yeah, I'm good on that. I'm good on that. I'm straight. I'm straight, baby. I'm straight. I also got through You're the One. This is the OG packaging from 2000 in their whipped lotion. It was the travel size. It's the only time I've seen a travel size in whipped lotion. See how little the bottle is? And I did get through all of it. And I have a video coming up of some things I will not be purchasing in the future from Bath & Body Works until further notice. And one of the items on that list, I'll just give you a sneak peek, is their whipped lotions. The smell was amazing. Like, you're the one smells bomb. The formulation of the body lotion is really good. I did like the way it felt on my skin. However, when they say lotion, what they really should say is disco ball because it is really, really fine glitter that they put in it. However, it is a shit ton of it. And anything that you put on or anybody you come in contact with is going to get it all over them. Like, all over them. If you have a nice shirt you don't want to get screwed up, don't wear this with it. Holy moly. It smells amazing, but my God. And your hands like literally look like you could be blinded in the light from the glitter all over your hands. It was, yeah, never again. Never again. But did I like the smell? Would I buy it in a regular body butter? Yes, I would. Would I ever get it in a lotion again? <laughs> no. No, I would not. I did also finally, finally, finally have to part ways with my Wet n Wild brow eyebrow thing. I don't like this dark color down here, and I don't use the wax, but this sucker, oh, I used her all the way to the bottom of that pan, and I finally had to part ways with her, and now I'm using Fab Brows, and we're going to see how that goes. I do like it. I do like Fab Brows. It's very natural looking, so... But yes, I had to part ways with her, but I had her for a long time. She lasted a long time. That was def definitely worth, I think it was like $2.99 or $3.99 that I paid for it. So definitely worth it. Two more items, y'all. Can you believe this? Almost 25 minutes. Next up, I did get through another Scentbird one. It was La Vanilla in Pure Vanilla. I did, I, I think I reviewed this one for Scentbird in one of my videos I liked it. However, it smelled extremely similar to their La Vanilla Vanilla Grapefruit, which if you have one, you don't need the other. But I did use it up because it is a beautiful fragrance. If I didn't have the, uh, the Vanilla Grapefruit one, would I buy this? Yes, because it's a very unique vanilla. There, I've never smelled anything quite like this, and I like it. So yes, I do like that. And again, that's La Vanilla Pure Vanilla. The last item I got through, y'all, I'm kind of sad because I don't have any more of these, but... And it's going to hold some good memories for me. But I did get through the mini travel size perfume in Sunshine Mimosa. I do like this a lot. And the perfume, the perfume. I want to say, this is yet another one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because I could be wrong. But I don't think I am in this. This is another one. They gave us the mini. But not the big bottle. I do not recall, for whatever reason, I cannot think of a big bottle of Sunshine Mimosa. But it was good. Like, the perfume was good. And you know what? This, okay. Yeah, there's none in here. Damn it. Damn it. This will forever and always remind me of Cedar Point here in Ohio. Cedar Point's a very large amusement park. They call it the Roller Coast because it has, like, the most roller coasters, I think, of any theme park in the U.S. Um, yeah, you can only walk so many feet and you hit another roller coaster. But they have a lot of other rides there, too. They have a water park. They've got a boardwalk and a really nice beach there. Um, we love going there. I usually get us season passes and we go every year, like numerous times a year. And I, um, like all of this past summer and the summer before, 
I had a couple of these and I always stuck it in my little fanny pack I would wear in the park and I would always spray this on. So I have memories of the summer heat standing in line for rides of wearing sunshine mimosa. So that's a good memory. I'm telling you, scent is a huge memory maker. And it can be good or bad. Like, if you associate a certain men's cologne with a certain guy and he did you dirty, you're going to hate that cologne ever after that. Or every time you smell it, you might cry. Yeah, so, so yeah. But, but it can also have really, really good, pleasant memories. And this is one of those. Oh, yeah, I love it. If I come across this again in the actual perfume, I'm buying it for sure. I do have it in body care, but the perfume is really, really good. So, yeah. Would I repurchase this? Hell yes. All right, you guys, that is everything I have for my January empties. You guys, this is a huge video. It's like almost 27 minutes long. So, anyway, that is, oh, you know what? I forgot I have one thing. <laughs> I have one thing sitting here. It is my scent beads from True Living. You put it in with your, um, my, I put it in with my laundry detergent, and then I put the fabric softener in, and then I put these in last. <sighs> this one is so good. This smells like Gaines. Um fresh burst or citrus burst or something like that. This one is called Hint of Spring. It's Dollar General's version. And I love it. I use this with the same fabric softener and then the same dryer sheets. Fabulous. And I do have another one in the basement right now of this. So yeah, so what I've heard repurchase. Oh, hell yes, this is a good one and it's cheap. So anyway, now I'm finally done. <laughs> If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Um, if you haven't subscribed, now is the time to do it. Hit that subscribe button and ding the bell. Boing. So you're alerted every time I upload. All right, you guys. That's all I have for today. And I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.